The big premiere of Hardball is next, but first, let's go live to the field where the pioneers are warming up. Bob? Thank you, Jerry. I'm here with millionaire slugger Frank Valenti. And Frank, despite the fact you make $6 million a year, you're on strike for more money. You ever think, gee, maybe I should just forget about the money and go out and play for the sheer love of the game? What are you, stupid? Okay, there you have it. Jerry, how are you? Well, ready or not, here comes Hardball. And we'll see you in a while. Last place? You clowns make me sick. Now I know why my poor old Harry lost his marbles. He got tired of dealing with you bums. I have another theory. <laughs> Listen, I pay you guys a million bucks a year. More if you can actually play. And what do I get? Squat. One of you was even caught on national TV sleeping during a game. I had a big meal. <laughs> and you have the gall to bring your hookers into the locker room. I am not a hooker, Mrs. Balzer. Then who the hell are you? I'm Lee Emery, the director of public relations. You asked me to come speak to the team. Well, go ahead. Who's stopping you? <laughs> okay. Um, I think we can all agree that we need to give the pioneers a more positive, wholesome image. Starting with our own mascot, Hardball. What's wrong with Hardball? Well, our, our research indicates that some demographic groups particularly women, <laughs> do not respond favorably to Harbaugh's aggressive manner. Also, his ditched mouth gives small children nightmares. <laughs> so, to help win the family audience back, say hello to your new mascot, the Pie Pioneer. Oh, man! You see, he's leading the children back to the stadium. He ain't getting them my kids. You can't replace Harbaugh with a dancing geek. If you guys weren't losing, you wouldn't have to put up with this crap. No offense. I don't care. I got news for you. Some of you are gonna find yourselves out of a job. That's for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. So, who do we get rid of? Earlier today, pioneer owner Mitzi Balzer accepted with regret the resignation of manager Chuck Hickey and announced the appointment of new manager Ernest Happy Talbot. She also unveiled plans to erect a statue outside the stadium of her little dog, Ballsy. <laughs> Here's our clubhouse, and there's your office. Soon your name's gonna be on that door on a nice piece of cardboard. Well, that's not really necessary. Hey, that's what general managers do. So, how long did you manage in the minors? 23 years. Oh, my God. All right, where's this new jerk? Ah, oh, here's our lovely owner. Mmm. <laughs> You're taller than I expected. Hello, Mrs. Balzer. I'm Happy Talbot. Nice to shake a hand and know there's a man at the other end of it. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think I can handle things from here. Oh, I bet you can. <laughs> the last manager couldn't keep these guys in line. Well, you know, there are a lot of temptations out there. <laughs> Didn't take you long to steer the conversation toward sex, did it? <laughs> you should be kept in a cage. <laughs> you know, Mrs. Balzer, Shut I... Shut up, Brad. Yes, ma'am. Hey, everybody! Attention, please! Settle down! Hey, huddle up! Uh, <laughs> Good morning, men. I'm your new manager, Happy Talbot. Hi, Happy. <laughs> Lloyd Lacombe, right? Kid with a 98-mile-per-hour fastball? Yes, sir. Any idea why a guy with your stuff isn't winning more? Maybe I'm thinking too much? I'm betting it's something else. 
Arnold Nixon. Any particular reason you have a chafing dish hanging from your neck? <laughs> it's my nickname, Lightning Nixon. <laughs> you know, I follow the game pretty closely, Arnold, and I have never, ever heard anyone refer to you as Lightning. It hasn't really caught on yet. <laughs> Why wear it? It was my wife's idea. <laughs> she thought it might help me pick up some of those commercial endorsements. We're having a bit of a cash flow problem. Well, you can tell your wife that we will no longer wear jewelry on the field, no matter how tasteful. Uh, gee, Abby, any chance you could tell her? <laughs> Mike Widmer, former all-star catcher. What do you know? What do you say, Hat? You know, I was uh, really hoping that it was the TV cameras adding the extra pounds, but I see you are indeed as fat as a cow. <laughs> From now on, 200 sit-ups a day. Okay, as of right now, I know a great deal about you as ball players, but I know nothing about you as people. Let's try and keep it that way. Because, you see, I don't really care what you do off the field. I don't care how many millions of dollars a year you make. All that I do care about is, can you play baseball? Any questions? Can we call you Papa? <laughs> Dave Logan, right? At your service. Nothing like a little joke to break the tension, huh, Dave? Well, I've always thought so, yeah. What is your record? <clears throat> One and five. Yeah, yeah, I read that, and I thought it must have been a misprint. Maybe you could help me with this little mystery. How does a guy with your record who also likes to mouth off remain in the majors? Food for thought. <laughs> you know, there's a great deal of talent on this team, and yet you guys are stinking up the league. So starting right now, each and every one of you is going to get rid of the idea that God singled you out at birth and shoved a golden horseshoe up your butt. <laughs> Valenti, what is so interesting on that TV? I think I just won the lottery. <laughs> 25, 62, 74, and 89. Yeah. <laughs> Frank, you already make $6 million a year. Now you've won $3 million on top of that. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> what do you plan to do with the money? Well, you know, first I thought about buying a vacation home, but um, then I thought to myself, you know, hey, man, you already got three homes. What do you need another one for? <laughs> <laughs> really, really do something good with this money. I think I'm going to buy a Lamborghini. Hey, Logan, one in five? You call that a record, one in five? Give me a million dollars. I'll go one in five. You washed up. You're a has-been, you bum. You dad? <laughs> Lean on this. Lean into it, one. Kid throws hard, huh? Sure does. <clears throat> All right. That's what I like. You think he throws harder than me? Not on the hand. <laughs> hey, yeah. He hates me. He's gonna release me. I know it. Oh, I'd love to be released. Stay home with my family. I'm gonna squat behind a plate, get my fingers broken. Why don't you just quit? Give up showering with other men? Not bloody likely. <laughs> Pretty smile. Thanks. I thought I needed dental work. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Jennifer. Oh, it's a pretty name. So, uh, what are you reading? A fan's notes. What's it about? A baseball fan? It's about an alcoholic outsider's descent into madness. That's right. <laughs> We invite you to laugh along with the Pied Pioneer. What <laughs> stupid idea was this? Where's Hardball? Hey, get off the bill, you clown! <laughs>
pretty girl. Actually, I'm a man, but I'm glad you find me attractive. <laughs> oh, you're coming to me, yeah? Oh, me. Yeah. And that guy... He's I love that guy. I mean, not the way you are thinking. I want to have sex with him. <laughs> Is your freaky? A long yeah. drive into the Pioneer movie. That's Frank Lomit, a six-feet home run this season. Hand this back to me like you want an autograph. Who are you? Just hand it back to me. You're not a game to watch. Hey, uh, if you want to see me after the game? My parents won't let me. Not you, her. Hey, Logan, what are you doing? Get out of there. This youngster asked me for my autograph. No, I didn't. You ever heard of a lounge called the bullpen? <laughs> no. I'll write down the address for you. Hey, that's my ball. Shut up. Hey, Logan, right now. I'm coming. Dave Logan reaching out to a new generation of fans. That's what this game is all about. So what do you do? I'm a travel writer. I fly from city to city, parade the hotels. No kidding. I live in a hotel. Do you? Yeah, you know, right across the street from the ballpark. Hey, you should come up and see my room. I'd be interested to know what grade you give it. What do you think Happy's gonna do? He can't release us all. He threw away my cigar. A man who would do that is capable of anything. I can't go back to Idaho. Right to Wichita. So you have been in the big leagues for about uh, 12 years, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Did you ever get tired of it? It's a great life. It's just... It's too bad it's coming to an end. Why do you say that? I can't get anybody out. And, uh, you know, my body's falling apart, and plus we have this new jerk of a manager, and I don't know, maybe I'm just I'm too old. Oh, that's silly. <laughs> Lots of pitchers older than you have had great careers. Nolan Ryan, Phil <laughs> Necro, Early Win with the Cy Young Award when he was 38. I don't even know who Early Win is, and you're turning me on. <laughs> oh, look. They're turning out the lights at the ballpark. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? I like living in a hotel. Mint on the pillow. Strip on the toilet. That's beautiful. Thanks. Hey, how come you know so much about baseball? Well, you know your new manager? Happy. What about him? He's my father. ask you about winning the lottery, you've got to act humble. Humble is for guys who can't cut it. <laughs> can you at least stop charging money for your autograph? But I gotta make it while I can. What if I get injured? I gotta live the rest of my life on 12 million bucks? Come on. She was Happy's daughter. You want to keep your voice down? Well, why don't she tell you straight off? I think she thought it would bother me. She wasn't so dumb. Just keep it to yourself. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Hey, what's going on? Dave slept with Happy's daughter. Hey. Thank goodness it wasn't Frank. Why? You can't afford to lose him. You gonna lose somebody? Yeah, Dave. He slept with Happy's daughter. Man. First they get rid of Hardball. Now Dave. I'm still here. Not for long. Logan, my office. Okay. You look a little tired. You getting enough sack time? <laughs> What's funny? Nothing. Then quit laughing. <laughs> Molotov's been swinging at the first pitch for. You hear that, Dave? Huh? Pay attention. Who do you think you are, Frank? <laughs> oh, I was watching a tape of your last start. You're tipping your curveball. I am. Yes, you're not hiding your grip. You think you're getting away with something, but you're not. Everybody knows what those hands of yours have been doing. <laughs> you can't keep a secret in this game. You are dead. Coach Happy? Yeah. You better get out here. Why? Frank's killing a reporter. <laughs> I tried something now. I 
I'm sorry. Why don't you write something now? I am sorry. Frank, Frank, this is not good public relations. Frank, what are you doing? Did you read his jerks column today? Look at this. I'm really sorry. You call me the archetype of today's modern-day greedy ball player. Didn't mean it. Did not mean it. Frank, look, it's really simple. People don't mind when you win the lottery, but nobody likes to see the same guy win it twice. I won again? You're saying you've been handed a lot in life. Maybe you should think about handing something back. That was a good thing you just did, Dave. Well, thanks, Abby. Why don't you go warm up? Listen, you could report this, but if Frank Valenti suspended, his fans will hunt you down and kill you. I think we should just forget about it. Wiggle your foot if you agree. <laughs> Terrific! You know what? I think it's going to work out between your dad and me. I thought you two were getting along. No, no, we're best buddies. Two peas in a pod. Butter and toast. Shoot time. All right. Throw strikes. Babe Ruth is dead. <laughs> give me a kiss. Here? Let's give me a kiss for a lot. to see you. <laughs> You're a moron, right? I'm sorry. Shut up! Shut up and stand up. The national anthem is playing. Happy, it was just a little... I know what it was. It's a very big screen. <laughs> Logan, let me tell you a little something about fathers. You see, we don't like it when some crumb bum kisses our little girls, and we really don't like it when we have to watch, and we really, really don't like it when we have to watch along with 50,000 other people. <clears throat> They're kind of waiting for us. Get out of here! <laughs> and you know what I really, really, really don't like? What? That you have forced me to think of you as a human being. So that when I release you, I won't just be releasing someone who can't pitch anymore. I will be releasing a man that my daughter seems to have some regard for. You're going to release me? Well, that depends on how you pitch. Nothing else? No. Thank you. And Logan, you better pitch a freaking no-hitter. <laughs> I've spoken with my business manager, and we are using the money I won in the lottery to set up the Frank Valente Strikeout Hunger Foundation. <laughs> it is our hope that this will lighten the plight of the less fortunate by buying them, you know, beans and stuff. Hey, hey, hey! Time of the hour. Hey, yeah. The new game wiener. Mr. Two and Five. <laughs> Where you been? Oh, I took Jennifer to the airport. Still gonna see her? Yeah, I'd like to. She's smart. She's funny. Thinks I can make a comeback. But you said she was smart. <laughs> one tonight, partner. Yeah, I called a great game. <laughs> no. I bet we got our best years ahead of us. Early win won the Cy Young Award when he was 38. Damn right. Huh? Who the hell is early win? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the Pine Pioneer! My Pioneer has not caught the public's fancy. Why do you keep sending this guy out there? He sucks. People hate him. Wait, I added something. What's 
going on? It's hardball! just minutes away from the season premiere of Married with Children. Sit tight. Host Terry Bradshaw and Howie Long will be right back with surprise guest Al Bundy as Super Sunday continues. And before he blew you away in speed, Keanu Reeves was the ultimate daredevil in Point Break, Tuesday at 8, 7 central on Fox.